Hey, what's up, everyone? Bubble Kings here, and welcome back to some more Paladins. So, we're here playing Fernando on Glacier Keep, Capture and Siege. So, the cards we have here today are Evolve. I think this is much better, even on this, than the per minute one. Just because you get it at the start of the game, it'll allow you to get a lot of points early on and get a good amount of their gates down, I think. Uh, Towering Barrier. So, we can protect some of our damage dealers here. Since we have four damage dealers, I wanted to um get a big enough shield that they all could stand behind and not die. We also got hamstring because flamethrower AOE slow is pretty good. Launch so we can run into the enemy if we need to chase someone down, and juggernaut to get some damage reduction. So let's go upgrade evolve here, and we'll jump down onto the point, throw down our wall, and since we've got a big enough wall, we can pretty much get our whole team to stand behind her. We got someone running around the side there we have to watch out for. I don't know where he went. He, oh, he's up the top there. There's Cassie. So we're going to stay on this point. We almost got our shield back up. And here we go. Our team can stand behind it again. And we should be fine. Since the enemy doesn't really have a tank character, they only have Grover, which isn't a true tank. They're going to have a lot of trouble getting on the point here, I think. I think the Grover might be AFK, actually. I haven't seen him. Um, oh, Jesus! run around here so we can get the Cassie. There is a Grover there. He's probably going to turn around because he wants to defend his base instead. This will allow us to pick up the Cassie here. We have to reload, but we should be fine still. Because we have the weapon slow. Okay, so now we can upgrade. Let's go get the Towering Barrow upgrade. Now, it doesn't increase the shield health too much compared to Aegis. But it's still a increase nonetheless. There's not really another card you want to pick up anyway in this scenario. So, that's fine. So, let's go block it here. So, this should protect the turret against attacks from a roof. Let's see if we can move along with it. It looks like we it timed out. But we should still be able to get some damage down on this gate before it blows up. Okay. I'm going to put up my shield and walk backwards, try to protect my team so they can get out. Let's see if they can get out. Uh, there's a shield gun down, Barak's still trapped in here. I was trying to get him out, it looks like he ran the wrong way though, but that's okay. Uh, we'll use our in long charge range to get out, and let's see if they chase me here actually. I might be able to distract them here, and keep them away from the team and the point. So let's see how this goes. We're going to run this way. And try and delay him as long as possible. We're going to die here no matter what. So we might as well try and delay him. How are they actually getting the point with two people on me? That's actually kind of weird. How do they win the point with two people on me? Especially their Grover. That's really strange. Oh well. Well, um, let's push forward here. Let's go on the siege engine. We just run with it. The enemy's probably going to start focusing us. So we should be fine. We'll get some damage on Cassie on the side there. Dismount her at the same time. And just keep chasing it. We're not getting hit, so we're not going to turn around here. Here we go. We're starting to get hit. We're going to use the tank to sort of absorb damage if they try and shoot me. I think they're focusing the gate, though. So we don't have too much to worry about. Now, we could try and defend the gate here, but... I think we're going to lose it anyway, just because of how much HP the Siege Engine had left. And I'm going to sort of run behind him here, try and get a flank on. Because the Siege Engine's going to not deal too much damage to the gate, hopefully. Actually, Jesus, they might get her. I didn't think they would get her. I guess, what was our team doing? It must have been like AFK or something. It's actually hitting the vault now. Like... Come on, team. What are you doing? I think they're just hopeless without me tanking for them. So, uh, let's go push forward. Take out the barrack here. There's a rocket on the left there. Um, I'm going to hang around the middle because we don't know where it's going to pop up. This will allow us to run to either side. Right now, you can see their ruckus is probably trying to dash it away across. This is why you don't stay on the other side. You always stand in the middle. So you can get to both points in a reasonable amount of time. No matter what side it's on. Okay, let's throw our shield up. We know Sky is somewhere stealth, but 
We can leave our team to clean it up. We'll just tank it from now. Okay. Let's try and blow that up with our fire. It looks like our team got it by themselves. We're just going to shoot flames, even though we're not going to hit anyone. Just to deter the enemy from moving forward. Show them we mean business. And that allows us to get the point right there. Okay, let's go to run forward. Try and stop him from mounting up. Because if they mount up, they're going to get away here. And we don't want that happening. Can we move forward? We'll take our Grover here. Shoot him down. Okay. And we'll upgrade Towering Barrier once again. So we can increase shield size. Um, increase health on our shield. Now where are they popping up? It looks like they have one person up there. Who was up there? We can get under here and take out the turret. And then we can move forward. Our team did pick him off. Okay, that's really good. Let's go straight up to the gate here. Try and do as much damage. We might be able to get to the uh, forward here at the back. I'm going to try and block damage from the Ruckus and the Cassie here. It looks like I'm too far back to actually protect them now. So, whoops, I, I meant to charge there, but let's see how this goes. Barak threw his um, shield down on the turret, I think, and we'll be able to get it because of it. That was a good play by Barak right there. To throw down um, his ultimate on the... His ultimate or a shield? I didn't get to see it. Um, on the siege and to absorb a bit of damage. So you couldn't finish it off. So that was pretty nice. Hmm. So we we didn't do much damage. We actually only slightly less than Eevee. But I think we tanked a lot of damage. They really, really need to show like a damage tank stat or damage damage absorb would be really good as well, actually. So you can see how much you um damage you absorb with your shield. And you can see like on Ruckus and stuff how well he uses his ultimate by how well um, the damage absorbed is on the team and stuff like that. That would be, yeah, some stats like that would be really interesting to see. Maybe have like, I don't know, a second menu here where you can switch over to see different stats. Or maybe, I don't know, you switch between cards and more stats or something. Because these cards do take up a lot of room. But they are very important to know. They actually all got morale boost surprisingly. That's really weird. I think there's um better picks and morale boosts. Like on some champions the ultimate is that not that good. Like, I don't know I think Cassie's ultimate's not that good. There must be a better pick there. I to be honest, she's probably sorta of new just because of her um her score right there. She might be new. Or maybe I don't know. Like I don't think it's that good of a pick. I think especially going to dodge roll build. Like, going this dodge build, you think you would want to get the general cooldown reduction, which, um, no one has. The one that reduces all skills. Oh, this one, yeah. Chronos, yeah. You think you would want to get Chronos instead. Because that way, it reduces the cooldown of your dodge roll even further. Allows you to get more damage off with your exaction here. That seems like the perfect pick. I don't know. Oh, well. I guess we can try that out when we play Cassie later. They, um, I think their Grover must have been AFK at the start or something. His damage is way too low. Oh well. Anyway. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.